to me this this is pokemon this is what i grew up with good morning today's a pretty cool day mcdonald's annual pokemon promotion starts today but but this year's a, a little bit different this year they they get to help pokemon celebrate their 25th year and they're doing it with a with a gigantic set of 50 cards in their own exclusive booster packs normally i wake up at 4 a.m to start my day and commute about 45 minutes to work my commute takes me past countless mcdonald's and i thought maybe it'd be fun to hunt these things before work then i thought it might be fun to have you come with me on this hunt take a seat let's hang out and go pokemon hunting Good morning. Good morning. What can I get for you? Yeah, do you guys have the Pokemon cards? We actually don't at the moment. All right, I appreciate it. I'll just drive through then. Do you guys have the Pokemon cards? No, we do not. I'm sorry. I, I appreciate the info, bud. Thank you. Do you guys have the Pokemon cards? No, not right now. I'm waiting for delivery. It's coming today at 11 o'clock. Hey, do you guys have uh, the Pokemon cards? We do. All right. Um, Can I buy just those? No, you would have to get a Happy Meal. Okay. Can I get a Happy Meal? We're not serving lunch right now, sorry. Do you guys have the Pokemon cards? Yes, we do. Can I get, uh, can I buy just those? Yeah. That'd be awesome, man, thank you. All right, is that all, sir? Uh, you know what, let's go and do a, a black coffee as well. Java. Yeah, do you guys have the Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah, we do. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll take the one. Uh, just the one is fine? Yeah, that's, that's perfect, bud. All right, next one. Well guys, we had some success, went to six different locations, ended up with six of these bad boys. Uh, a few of them didn't, didn't want to sell them outside the Happy Meal, I'm not really interested in the, in the food. A few of them told me that they, they just simply didn't have the cards yet. So, we're gonna check a few that just simply aren't open this early on the way home, but for now it's time for me to clock in, go, go knock out some work, and I'll get with you guys afterwards. Alright guys, work's officially over. Let's see if we can go ask a few more. Yeah, what do you have? Can I buy just the cards? I can. You need to pay the kids meals. Okay, can I get a kids meal? Actually get a, a mocha frappe as well. It's a type of coffee, what? Don't judge me. I'm okay. sorry, for the moment it's not working the machine here. Awesome, thank you. Oh, I've been told no a lot today, but that's the first time I got told I don't get caffeine. Oh, this can be dangerous. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much. Have a good day. I needed to buy the uh, the kids meal with it, which is fine. That's what this is, right? It's a kids meal promotion. But check out the box, man. That's ridiculous. It's a cute box. I'm not collecting the box. Pokemon cards? Yes, we do. Anything else for you? Yeah, can I actually get a mocha frappe? Yeah, of course. Did you want the small, medium, or large? Uh, let's go medium. All right, back after a long day of uh, a little bit of hunting and a lot of bit of working. Uh, but we're back. We're going to open these things. I did want to share with you guys the Happy Meal box this thing came in. This thing is just adorable as far as cardboard packaging goes with little floppy ears. Um, this gets two thumbs up in my book. For right now, we're just going to go and slide it right between the two Elite Trainer boxes. And that is where it will sit for tonight. Like I said, I'm not going to collect it, but it is, it is pretty darn cute. The reason we're here, we've got four four of these guys and uh i do i do like the artworks i wish i had a black with this kind of just like standing surprise pikachu but you know what we make do I'm gonna go and uh, open these guys as you can see you got these little tabs up they actually have i'm gonna start with these green guys back here because they're duplicates they actually have little dabs of glue on them to, to keep them closed uh, but then tabs to reclose them which i thought was an interesting choice but you get them just like that but guys, take a look at this pack art. Basic, beautiful. To me, this this is Pokemon. This is what I grew up with, and uh, I just really, really like the look of it. Now these, I think I didn't I didn't after looking at the art and kind of popping them open, um, I didn't really go too far into it. So I think these numbers here tell us that they have different things in them. So I've got two number fours. Uh, a number one, assuming two number ones, just with different hearts. So I've, uh, honestly, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. But let's check them out. This is actually one of the add-ons I'm, I'm super stoked about. This is, a little, this is a little card frame. I mean, how cool is that? It has a little little pop-out thing on the back so you can stand, up your, stand your card up in it. You know what? Shoot, let's go and do that. Let's get this 
all popped out and this comes down pretty standard little paper cheap frame but I mean that is that is darn cute it's a shame a card's gonna go in and cover up our Pikachu here but it has a purpose it will serve it and then of course you've got a super complicated maze to get each of the Pokemon into each of their balls that is that's pretty cute let's go ahead and put this off to the side we are done with you so we got one booster pack there let's go and open this one again we should have no surprises second one right same maze same pokemon at the bottom that is green number four for all those interested in that kind of thing another booster pack a frame all right let's go and open this guy this like i said this is my favorite art i like the black background better though let's pop this open third booster pack what do we have in here okay yeah this one i was looking at the back interesting we do have a, a mix of pokemon that's kind of funny just toss squirrel in there i guess but on the back here uh, you'll see that this box included is actually a little mini deck box i imagine to, to hold your cards is uh, that that would be my guess let's go and build this see if we can do this without the instructions you know because we're, we're big we're big grown-ups buying happy meal toys over here don't need no stinking instructions i might need some instructions. Let's see here. Dang. So this definitely does look like it's intended for cards, but at a thickness like that, they expect you to buy a few of their boosters because that is not one of those. Are not going to eat. They're not even going to get close. So that is actually for a little little pop together thing. That is fairly fairly good quality. Man, another little add-on thing that just gets two thumbs up for me. Sorry, I'm trying to get this on the camera and do it at the same time. Let's look at that. A little Pokeball stays behind it. You reveal three of the Gen 2 Pokemon on this guy. So that is that is pretty darn cool. So we'll put you back there. Don't want to cover up that Pikachu face just, just yet. Lastly, like I said, favorite background. A little, little hopping uh, hop Pikachu. That's cool. One last booster pack, and okay. So a, a slightly different art on the, I keep saying deck box. I don't know that you can fit a six card deck in here, um, but a little box for your cards. What we got here, is this just a, a little doodle pad? Yeah, look, just in case you can figure it out, you're supposed to take your, you're supposed to take your colored pencils to it. All right, cool. So that is done. Now over here, like I said, we did, we did end up with four of these guys. Let's go and shred these open, see what's on the inside. I'll start with this one here. Now, this is it's just tactile feel-wise. This is um, uh, uh, probably a lower quality is how I'll say that. Uh, probably keep costing. Oh, yeah, these are paper. These are just paper. Now, if I was looking at the other videos earlier, this should be our foil. Now, these come with one foil and three three non-foil cards the set consists of 50 cards uh, that's 25 non-foil and 25 foil all the same 25 just foil and non-foil there you go got got charmander tepig are we gonna go all fire rowlet and our foil is litten now you know what that is one dang good looking card i like the foil pattern now if you notice as i, I tried I tried not going through it too quick, but I did. Is they all have that 20, 25th anniversary logo on them. That makes them special to this set. So our first haul of the night is Litten. Let's go and get it in a sleeve. I put them way over here because I am prepared. All right, Mr. Litten, go and get over here. The Litten kitten. Yeah. There you go. You know, I like you, but not enough to put you inside the frame, buddy. So go and hang out over there. You know what? You guys, you guys get to go over here in your eventual home, the box. So there's one booster down. Three more to go. Now, judging by the online demand, the chase card, if you want to call it that, is it is the Pikachu of the set. I mean, who doesn't like a good Pikachu? It's really good art. These are all reprints from previous from previous. Uh, printings just with that that logo and then of course the, the hall foil has got the hall foil pattern 
There's that bulbous sword. You know, I saw somebody just the other day go ahead and fill this out with a uh, with paint. It actually turned out really well. Cyndaquil. Totodile, very cool. And Trico. Looking all sassy there, stepping on it. Is that a stomp? Stomp, pile of dirt. Or something. He's stepping on something looking sassy. Let's go and get him in a sleeve. And if I truly were a man that was prepared. I would have wouldn't grab four sleeves because we know we're getting four hollows. No green or white card to this stuff. So, so far my favorite non-hollow. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Totodile, but I'm a big fan of Totodile, but the art on that Cyndaquil, he just looks, he just looks happy. Happy little Cyndaquil. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it right. So get this guy back here. Can we get a Pikachu in these four? Who knows? A 125 chance every time we tear it, right? Piplup. Hello. Another Cyndaquil. Oshawott. And ooh, look at that. Back-to-back -back Oshawott's. Just one sparkly. I do like that. Let's get this in here. So just like the first partner pack, these are only the starter Pokemon and Pikachu, which technically Pikachu is a starter Pokemon if you get... Pokemon, uh, I believe it's called the Pikachu edition, unofficially called the Yellow edition. I should mean just called Pokemon Yellow. So last pack here. Who do we get as the foil in this one? Really pleased with these sets. Not pleased with the craze it's causing. More on that towards the end. We've got a Froakie. Do like that art. Chespin. Chimchar. And for our last one, we have a fire type. Woo, Cyndaquil. You know, I am pleased with what was pulled. Get this here. Now, just in case you're not in the know about what's going on, these are people are getting a little crazy about these things. Now, I've got these four. I did grab a few extra for um, my daughter, who's not with me at the moment, as well as uh, some, some out-of-country friends. But people are buying these by the caseload. And, you know, my opinion on that, I don't really like sharing my strong opinions very frequently. But, but my opinion, if you're buying them by the case, please don't. <laughs> you're getting in the way of uh, other collectors enjoying this hobby. But more importantly, you're getting, getting in the way of, uh, of children enjoying Pokemon. And like I said in my Instagram account just a little bit earlier, uh, you know, where would you be if Pokemon was absent for your childhood? You wouldn't be here watching this video, I'm sure. I'd like to think that the people that come through here aren't in that crowd, but just in case you are, like double think, you know, think, double think, think twice, you know, be be thoughtful, be mindful of others. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna go and sleeve these up. Like I said, I want to know what you guys think of the set, of the commotion around it, of the add-ons. Here, let's let's pick our favorite and get it get it in its frame. I'm probably. You know what? I just saw last second, and it is his art. If you know me, you know me, uh, I do love me some Ken Sigamori, and I was able to check his art before putting it on. I'm not a huge fan of Ashwat, but let's see if we can slide it into this frame without damaging it. That will be the trick of the night. It's kind of cruel, isn't it? Putting a water-type Pokemon in an electric-type frame. Oh, no, it doesn't fit with a sleeve. Well, I am not putting you in without a sleeve. Let's get one of you guys. Let's find that Oshwat because I know I got two. Get him in there. Slide this in there. Even this is a snug fit. Yeah, definitely definitely don't recommend doing this with your foils. Get in there. <laughs> not only will it be on display, it's not moving. Ever. Well, excellent. Like I said, that is just going to have to do. Oshawa, you're a little, little crooked there. Here. Nice, nice level there. Were you guys able to track some of these down? Did you pull what you wanted? Like I said, w let me know what you found, what you think of everything that's going on down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Just because this video is ending doesn't mean we have to stop hanging out. Till next time, guys.